fight for your dreams for rolls along. We are ready for our next contest as we take you back to the ring to our esteemed ring announcer, Mr. Matt DeCourt. And may I say, sharply dressed Matt DeCourt. All right, everybody, you guys are having a good time to fight for your dreams for tonight, right? I think you can do it just a little louder. Are you guys having a good time to fight for your dreams for? Dropping a few f bombs shows you the level of intensity. And then, bombs? That's fine. You can frost bomb them all day. And Frosty just laying into T.J. Howell. This is his time to get revenge for everything that T.J. Howell's done to him. Oh, look at—he's got the shirt, hockey style. After everything that T.J. Howell has done to Ryan Frost. Tonight is Frost night to get his revenge. Not only that, get himself a new caddy. You know what, I think he has some weapons to polish. I don't know. Oh, and while I make that comment, low blow. There go his frosticles. Well, Howell's definitely crafty. Saw his opportunity, hit the bottom rope, and got Frost right in the family jewels. And just like that, Thurston Howell, excuse me, TJ Howell III, is in full control. With a needy team. But isn't that just like a Howell? Open opportunists at all times. And he's showing that right now. Yeah, and he's, I mean, he's got to be cheesed off now. He tried to, again, bring fellow Yacht Club member Jay Bougie out to the ring. Uh, and the referee sent him back. Wasn't going to take the payoff. Good for you, ref. And another needy to that bad knee of Ryan Frost. Oh, count of one. There's no way you're going to put Frost away that or especially in a match with the ramifications that this one has. No way. Frost is favoring that knee right now. Oh. And we can see right away early on the strategy that TJ Howell's going to use. Take a wheel out. Chop down that big man tree. And I'll tell you how absolutely uh, unbelievable that would be to have to see big bad Ryan Frost as the caddy of TJ Howell the third. Listen here. TJ had like five caddies since debuting. He doesn't need another one in Ryan Frost. But that boy needs to be humble. Hopefully Ryan Frost can do that tonight. 
course, he's got the beautiful and brilliant Aubrey on the outside. There for guidance, for strategy, for support. A real friend, a true friend, not like the backstabber. TJ Howell the third. That one. If TJ teaches anything, it's money. Can't buy you class. And I'll tell you, the, the chances of TJ Howell the third becoming Frost Caddy seem to be slipping away with each move, with each one of those shots from TJ Howell. How does it focus more on Ryan than the crowd? I, why? Oh, hang on. His mother's a saint. Gonna go for that exploder, no dice. With one bad wheel, how can you pull that off? And once again, back to the leg. Oh. He's no Bob Yoshi, but what a kick to Ca the face. Count it two only. I'll tell you, what an embarrassment that would be, not just to TJ Howell the third, but also to his dad. To have to watch his son be a caddy to his arch nemesis here. Let's be honest, CJ Howell II is used to his son being a loser. There's nothing new here. Again, you can tell him that because I'm not. Counter two only as we hear the Test of Strength faithful voicing their disapproval for the privileged one. He's cranking that leg. This is painful to watch. Here we go, a yeah, crowd getting behind Frost, see if he can feed off of some of that energy, get an extra boost of adrenaline from the TOS faithful. Seems to be working now. Huge shots, double axe handle, but and he escapes the hold. Come on, TOS, give him your power. Wow. Security by Ooh. Ryan Frost. The big man has some surprises in him. Here we go. Let's go, Frost. He can make it to his feet, but he's still got that, still favor in that leg. But you and I both know, oh, all it's going to take is one Frost Wave, and it is a wrap for the privileged one. But can he get there? Can he make it happen? Wow, huge clothesline there by the infamous Ryan Frost. Oh, oh. That's fire. <laughs> It's getting him through the pain right now. I would say big boot. That's about as big a boot as you can get. And TJ Howell just ate it right across his mug. And here we go. Frost is back in it. Oh, no. Up and over. Hang on. What do we got? No. Oh. Onto the hardest part of the ring. Go for the cover there, but too close to the ropes. Foot on the rope. This is what happens when you have two good working knees. You get a foot on the rope. Excellent ring awareness there by TJ Howell the third. Did his foot in the ropes and just escaped, becoming the caddy of the Pride of Buffalo. Cross is going up. We don't see this often. And that's why. Oh, look at this! He hit him with the Dumbo from the top rope. That could be it. No! I thought it was a three. I thought it was over. Ryan Frost just kicked out of a Dumbo from the top rope. Unbelievable. We've seen TJ Howell III put away many an opponent with that Dumbo, but not tonight. Frost says he can be in anybody's caddy. Especially TJ Howell the third. Gotta respect that referee. He better stay on Frosty. Don't let up. Oh, and he's setting him up now for total gentrification. No. And look at this. Are we gonna see the frost wave? We did. That's it. One, two, and TJ. Oh, what? Wait. What? Wait, what? Hold on. I didn't just see what I... Caddy! It's Caddy! What are you doing now? Get back! What are you doing now? Get back! What are you doing now? Get back! 
I can't believe Aubrey. That was a three. Get out. What an. Get out. What a backstabbing piece of. Low blow referee didn't see it. No, no, no. Come on. No. Not like this. Not like this. No, no. Not going to happen. No. And Frosty kicks out. That's what I'm talking about. I'm still in shock at what we saw, Aubrey. What a disgusting, disgusting display by Aubrey turning her back on Ryan Frost. Let me well, put my glasses back on. I can't believe I just seen what I seen. What we all thought was her one and only true friend, a close friend, somebody who would never turn their back on Ryan Frost. Well, as you can hear by the crowd, Frost doesn't need Aubrey by his side. He has the crowd that's on his front tonight. Well, you gotta wonder if that's gotten into the head now, taking Frost, Ryan Frost out of his game. Undoubtedly, it was the, hold on. Brass, Brass City Slam, Brass City Slam. And that's it. Oh man! Finally, finally, Ryan Frost gets his comeuppance tonight. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, DJ Howell the third is now the caddy of Ryan Frost. Listen to this call! That's the caddy Howell! He tried to, TJ Howell tried to pay off Jay Bougie, his fellow young club member to help him. He paid off Aubrey to backstab Ryan Frost. All to no avail. Frosty gets his revenge tonight. Not only that, he gets himself a caddy. Oh man! Listen to the crowd here. There's not enough money in the world to stop this embarrassment for the next 30 days. Oh. I wonder what the first uh, order of business is going to be. Crowd here chanting 30 days. Oh, it's going to be the worst 30 days of TJ Howell the third's life. Oh my God, a sign didn't get ripped tonight. What an amazing moment. Oh. Yeah, get his stuff. That's what you got to do when you're a caddy. Hey, TJ, I got a couple of hats you can use. <laughs> get the nine iron. It's for T.J. Howell to give. Oh my gosh! Demanded the kendo stick. Demanded the Singapore cane, and has now been ordered to shake the hands of all of the T.O.S. faithful. I love it. Like I told you, he may have lost Aubrey, but that front row is all his friends, and that's for sure. T.O.S. faithful. T.O.S. Absolutely, couldn't have said it better myself, Nathaniel. Wow. Do we get one? I want a handshake. Can you, can you, Frost, can you have him get me a water? Oh, man. Hey, TJ, this is for Brooklyn. 